ever heard of an airport built on water? That's Kansai Airport in Japan. It cost a staggering $20 billion to build. But here's the kicker, it's sinking. Instead of soaring through the skies, this airport is gradually going down. Buckle up, because we're diving into the bizarre saga of Japan's underwater airport adventure. Let's uncover how this engineering marvel came to be and the challenges it faces today. Back in the late 1960s, the Kansai region of Japan was losing its edge in trade, development, and business to the booming Tokyo area. To make Osaka and Kobe more appealing, the idea of a new international airport was born, aiming to rival Tokyo's up-and-coming second airport, which would become Narita International Airport, or NRT. The competition was fierce, and the stakes were high. Osaka's old Itami Airport was bursting at the seams as Jet Age air travel took off. With bigger aircraft like the Boeing 747 and the frequent short-haul Boeing 737s, expanding Itami Airport seemed impossible due to its location amidst densely populated Itami and Toyonaka. So, the hunt for a new airport site began, driven by the necessity to accommodate growing air traffic. Initially, developers eyed a spot near Kobe, but the city nixed the idea. Planners then shifted their focus to the southern bay of Osaka Prefecture. The bay's remote location meant the airport could operate 24-7 without disturbing residents. This new location offered a unique opportunity for uninterrupted operations and strategic advantages. Kansai International Airport, or KIX, is a major gateway in the greater Osaka area linking Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe. Construction kicked off in 1987 and wrapped up seven years later. Engineers dredged 20 million cubic meters of earth from the bay to build the island, creating a solid foundation for the airport. The project was a colossal effort requiring cutting-edge technology and meticulous planning. To tackle the region's earthquake risks, they installed 1.5 million sand drains to the seabed, speeding up water displacement and stabilizing the ground. A seawall of 48,000 tetrahedral concrete blocks, each weighing 50 tons, was built to shield the island from waves and erosion. These measures ensured that the airport could withstand natural disasters. The island's foundation sat on a 20-meter thick layer of soft clay posing huge challenges. Engineers used vertical sand drains up to 90 meters deep to speed up the clay's compression. They also preloaded the island with extra weight to hasten the settlement process. Three mountains were excavated and provide 21 million cubic meters of landfill, involving 10,000 workers, 10 million work hours, and 80 ships over three years to create a 30 meter layer of earth over the seafloor and within the sea wall. This monumental task exemplified human ingenuity and perseverance. Connecting the airport to the mainland is the Skygate Bridge R, one of the world's longest truss bridges at 3.7 kilometers. This double-deck bridge with a road on top and a rail line below was designed to withstand the region's harsh marine environment and seismic activity. It links the airport to Rinku Town, providing seamless access to various transportation options, including trains, buses, and cars. Kansai Airport boasts two main terminals, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2, catering to different travelers and airlines. Terminal 1, designed by the famous Italian architect Renzo Piano, is the world's longest airport terminal, stretching 1.7 kilometers. Its unique curved roof boosts airflow, reducing the need for air conditioning, and the extensive use of natural light creates a pleasant atmosphere for passengers. This terminal combines functionality with aesthetic appeal, enhancing the travel experience. Welcome to Terminal 2, your go-to spot for low-cost carriers and budget-friendly travel. This terminal is all about functionality and efficiency, making your travel experience as smooth as possible. Unlike the sprawling Terminal 1, Terminal 2 is a straightforward single-story building designed for quick and easy passenger movement. Now, let's talk runways. The island features two impressive runways. The first one, completed in 1994, stretches 3,500 meters. Then in 2007, we got an even longer one at 4,000 meters. Both runways are constructed with durable asphalt, perfect for handling a variety of aircraft, including those big international flights. 
Runway 2 is the heavyweight champ, measuring 4,000 meters in length and 60 meters in width, ready to accommodate the largest planes and longest international flights with ease. Kansai International Airport has had quite the challenge with its sinking island from the moment construction started. The artificial island began sinking. Initially, it was predicted to sink about 5.7 meters, but it's already gone down 8.2 meters, much more than expected. After 20 years of planning, three years of construction, and several billion dollars, this project became the most expensive civil works project in modern history. The immense weight of the airport structures and the filled land puts a lot of pressure on the seabed, causing it to sink further. Since its construction, the airport has sunk about 38 feet, far exceeding initial estimates by 25%. To combat this, engineers installed 900 columns with hydraulic jacks under the terminal buildings. These jacks are adjusted every two years to maintain stability. Despite these efforts, parts of the airport could reach sea level by 2056, posing significant operational and safety risks. Different areas of the airport are sinking at different rates, which complicates maintenance. Engineers have also implemented several soil improvement techniques. The airport buildings, especially Terminal 1, were built with adjustable columns that can be extended or retracted to keep the structures level as the island sinks. This innovative approach ensures continuous stability over time. A comprehensive monitoring system tracks the rate of subsidence in real time using sensors and regular surveys, allowing engineers to make necessary adjustments and plan for future interventions. In 2013, further reinforcements were added, including additional piling and foundation work, to provide extra support for critical areas of the airport infrastructure. Kansai International Airport is gearing up for the future with ambitious development projects aimed at enhancing infrastructure and passenger experience, especially with the upcoming Expo 2025 in Osaka. The ongoing and planned upgrades focus on expanding capacity, improving facilities, and integrating advanced technologies. One of the key projects is the extensive renovation and expansion of Terminal 1, increasing its capacity from hauling 23 million to 40 million international passengers annually. The renovations aim to streamline operations by centralizing functions like immigration and security checks, enhancing both efficiency and passenger experiences. The redesigned terminal will feature modern amenities including a cutting-edge international departure lounge, high-end retail spaces, and local culinary offerings. In addition to terminal upgrades, significant improvements are planned for the airport's runway and overall operational infrastructure. These enhancements are designed to support a higher volume of international flights and ensure smoother operations. Upgraded facilities will include new relaxation areas, self-service check-in and bag drop stations, e-gates, and smart lanes to minimize waiting times. So, will the airport end up underwater like a lost city? With clever engineering solutions and close monitoring, this innovative airport might just continue to serve passengers for years to come. Will engineers be able to save Kansai Airport? Leave a comment below and subscribe for more updates.